Hey guys, how are you? Chris Mortimer, the Yacht Hunter, and today I'm helping you navigate how you're gonna better pay the 10% commission due to your yacht broker when selling your yacht. And the only thing more expensive than not agreeing to the 10% commission is exactly that. As yachts sit on the market for longer periods of time, they don't sell and every yacht sold decreases the price. So it's very important that your yacht gets sold quickly and at the highest price. But just like anything, that 10% commission gets split amongst your broker, the person bringing the buyer to the table, and the brokerage houses they're employed by. So to get around this, you agree to pay the 10%, but you make that broker selling it put some skin in the game. And by that, have them take professional photos. Too many listings you see, million dollar yachts, five million dollar yachts, 10 million dollar yachts, terrible quality photos. And this is really unacceptable. If someone stands to make so much money off of me, the very least you could do is hire a professional photographer and a videographer for that matter to make sure you produce good, marketable content to make sure that your yacht gets sold. The second thing you can do to have your broker put some skin in the game is have them cover the cost of dockage while your yacht is for sale. Now, some brokers might not have access to dockage. Some of the owners out there might be paying a premium for dockage, but a yacht broker, if they're forced to put some skin in the game and cover dockage, they're not gonna give you an inflated, unrealistic sales price. They're gonna give you a realistic sales price and do everything they can to sell that yacht as quickly as they can at the highest price to make sure that they stay flush in what they're outlining. And the third way to have your broker put some skin in the game is make sure they're going to cover the cost of putting your boat in a boat show. A lot of times these costs get passed to the owner and while boat show really is a prime opportunity to showcase and sell your boat, too often brokers don't give it the full effort. Either they're out at the show getting drunk, they're always with other clients, or they have models on board that really can't answer a single question about the particular vessel that they're on. So by having your yacht broker pony up some money, you can rest assured that they're gonna do all they can to sell that boat at the show, which is the best sales opportunity you can have for any given yacht. So the only thing more expensive than not agreeing to a 10% commission is not paying it. But if you do these things, you'll be very happy with the end result. You won't have brokers giving you inflated prices or unrealistic prices, so your yacht won't sit on the market incurring additional costs. So if you agree with what I said here, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want any help marketing your vessel as well, I'd love to help you out with that as well. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Head over to my website, www.theyachthunter.com for other great yacht purchasing resources as well. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, happy yachting, my friends.